Hello everyone, Michael O'Brien here with another episode of Advice for Magicians. And today I'm gonna to answer some of your questions about which close-up linking ring product is right for you. Hello everyone and thank you so much for joining us in another video of Advice for Magicians where the goal is to help you all to take your magic to the next level. Now in this video, I wanted to answer a lot of questions that you guys had about which ring sets would be best for you. So today I'm gonna to be talking about uh, four different linking ring sets that I am personally familiar with and all of them are different and all of them have different things to offer. I'm gonna talk a little bit about which I think um, would be best in what situations. That way you guys can make an informed purchase and decide which ring sets that you really want to get. For some reason in the magic community, I have become the go-to guy to talk about close-up linking ring stuff, which I'm very honored to, to be that person. So thank you so much for doing that. But before we do that, I wanna just make a couple of announcements. Of course, if you haven't already done so, please make sure to click the subscribe button and make sure to ring that bell so that you guys don't miss out on any videos that I post. Remember, this channel is sponsored by you. So if you would like to support the channel for just $1 a month, you guys will get access to a bunch of awesome stuff, including tutorials, early access videos, emojis, badges, and more. So just go ahead and click the join button and you guys will become a Mob Squad member. Like these guys here. So I wanna welcome our newest members, David Noche, Brian Connor, Granny Chunkla, love that one, Dominic Lau, Thomas Maloney, and Jeff Golgier. Thank you guys so much for becoming members and helping to support the channel. It really means a lot. So in this video, we are gonna discuss four linking ring sets. We're gonna be talking about Ninja Rings by Masahiro Yanagida, popularized by Shudagawa. We're gonna be talking about Masato Rings by Joshua Masato. We're gonna be talking about the all new Malero Rings by Ernesto Malero. And of course, we're gonna talk about the Ninja Plus range, all of the ring sets that Matthew Garrett from the United Kingdom has put out. Uh, for those of you who are wondering, that's the routine that I perform. So um, let's start off first uh, actually, before we go into these ring sets, I'm going to put this little kind of disclaimer out there. All of these ring sets would be perfect for close-up and small parlor situations. So as small as one-on-one, -on -one, they would work perfect for one-on-one -on -one to smaller performances with like maybe people are surrounding you, four or five people, all the way up to maybe 50, 75 people theater, you'd be able to perform these pretty comfortably in those situations. Uh, there's only one of these routines that I would recommend performing for a larger audience than that, and we will talk about that when we get there. So, number one, uh, for me, this is where it all started, was Ninja Rings by Masahiro Yanagida, uh, very popularly performed, of course, by Shoot Ogawa. A lot of people think it is Shoot Ogawa's routine, but Masahiro Yanagida uh, was Shoot Ogawa's mentor, and he was actually the creator of this effect. Um, I personally think that the ninja rings themselves, like the actual rings themselves, are the best quality rings you are going to find on the market as far as close-up linking rings go. At the time of their production, they were going for about $70, $80, I think. Um, I don't know what they go for now because I don't think they're in production anymore. So if you can get your hold on the app, if you can get your hands on the actual ninja rings themselves, hold on to them. I have my original set of ninja rings from when I first started performing ring magic back in like 2008, and they look almost like the day I bought them. They have lasted me forever. Amazing quality rings, okay? That's number one. Number two, the routine itself is excellent. You're gonna learn, it's, it's, it's almost two routines really, because he goes through the routine and then the routine could end, but then he does it again with more moves. So it's like an extension on itself and um, everything is taught by Shutagawa and it's all clear as day. Shoot also has uh, a couple of um, bonus DVDs on this where he teaches more advanced techniques. He invites in some of his friends like Kim Silverman, uh, Masahiro gets in on the action and talks about some of these ideas. 
And overall, if you are looking for a solid close-up linking ring set, I almost 100% of the time will recommend to start with ninja rings. And then if you want to branch off, branching off to one of these other sets. Okay, so that's ninja rings. Uh, Masahiro Yanagida, Shudogawa. Now, where do I think that this routine would be best? Uh, I think this routine um, does the best when performed either in a close-up situation where you're surrounded by people or like at a formal situation where you're behind a table and you're performing for people. Can this be done stand-up? Yes, I have seen Shoot Ogawa perform this both in the close-up gallery at the Magic Castle and in the parlor at the Magic Castle. Close-up gallery seats about 25 people. The parlor seats about... Is it 100 people? It's either 100 people or, or 80 people, I don't remember. Um, but two different sized rooms and I've seen Shoot perform that routine in both situations. He teaches you a tableless version and he teaches you a tabled version where you do a lot of the moves on the table, spinning the ring and linking it and crashing the rings down on the table and whatnot. Um, so you have a variety of different performance styles for a variety of different venues and stuff. So. Highly recommend that. All right, let's jump ahead now to Masato rings. So the Masato rings themselves, um, out of all of these ring sets, I, and, I, and I don't want this to sound negative, I'm not taking any, anything away from, uh, from Masato or a shot or anything like that. Masato's rings are probably the lowest quality on this list, at least the original Masato rings in black. Uh, I know Joshua put out some uh, some new, I want to say they're like rose gold rings. I have not seen those, so I'm not commenting on those. I'm commenting on the original black, uh, matte black finish rings. Um, the rings themselves, um, they're kind of hard to see <laughs> because they're black. Um, Matthew Garrett has put out black rings too, and it has the same problem. It's not even like a Masato issue. It's just because they're black. Um, what I would recommend is getting getting your hands on ninja rings, like I said, and then if you want to branch out and learn more awesome material, checking out Joshua Masato's material on the rings um, because his, uh, his uh, performance is very different. So ninja rings is very calculated and boom and unlinks and you know taking the rings apart and putting them together and stuff uh masato is um sort of the cardistry of the linking ring world so he has taken a lot of these ideas um you know like kind of martial arts like style stuff spinning the rings around and tossing them in the air and catching them over here and brought that into the close-up linking rings so i highly recommend if you're looking for something very fancy very flashy and visual. I highly recommend you check out Joshua Masato's Masato rings um, and check out his newer rings. I'm gonna probably do a actual legit review on these soon if I get my hands on a couple of these ring sets um, just so that you guys can see um, everything like that. Um, like I said, and for the money, um, it's not, it, they're not too expensive. I wanna say the Masato rings themselves are like in the 50-ish dollar range. And it comes in a little case and you get the routining with it. So I recommend you guys check that out if that's the sort of thing that you're interested in. Next up, we're gonna talk about the newest release in this whole thing. And that is the Malero rings by Ernesto Malero. Um, another really great ring set. Um, pricing on these I believe is $45, $50. Um, these rings are a little bit bigger and a little bit thicker than the other two rings that I mentioned already. Uh, these are five inch rings. The Masato, uh, Ninja, and um, Ninja Plus rings are all four and a half inches and thinner. Masato's rings are a little bit thicker and the Malero rings are probably the thickest rings I think out of all of the ones in this video. Um, they're the heaviest and they're the biggest, which means they are best performed um, for a larger audience. So this is the ring routine that I was talking about that would probably, be, you would probably be able to get away with a large parlor performance. Maybe stage, I hesitate to say stage, you would probably want to get a size, like, like a 10 inch set, nice 10 inch set of rings, 12, um, if you want to do uh, stage ring magic. The Malero rings 
could work on stage. Like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna be very loosey goosey with that one there. Um, I would say if you're performing for like 100, 150 people, it would be okay. Uh, the Malera rings comes with a special key ring gimmick that allows you to link all four rings and then um, show the rings with your hands open. Like, so you can balance it on your thumb and you have all four rings linked and you can let go with this hand. You can let go of the key ring and all four rings um, are displayed that way. So you can show that there's like no gaps or openings or anything like that. The special keyring gimmick will only work in two situations though. A situation where you are one-on-one -on -one and straight ahead with somebody, or a situation where you're standing back and performing for a larger audience, like in a parlor situation. The rings themselves function like an ordinary ring set. So if you already bought Masato rings or you already bought Ninja rings, you can use these Malero rings and perform those same routines using the Malero rings. But uh, the uh, key ring, that has the specific little, you know, edit, <laughs> whatever you want to call it, whatever the word is I'm looking for, the little twist that the key ring has um, is only really going to be able to be used in like a parlor situation or if you're like one-on-one -on -one with someone or performing like a virtual, like for like TikTok or uh, YouTube or if you're doing like Zoom shows and stuff like that. So those are the benefits and, and things of using the Malero rings. So you have a little bit more uh, range and flexibility um, when it comes to using those rings uh, for performing for a larger audience. Last but not least, um, I'm gonna premise this by saying this is the routine that I perform and the routine that I'm known for. So I hope my biases don't show too much. Um, but the Ninja Plus range by Matthew Garrett Matthew Garrett has put out multiple ring routines over the years. Um, all of those ring routines fall under the umbrella category of the Ninja Plus range, or here in the United States, the Ninja Plus brand. So uh, what is Ninja Plus? So you have the standard four rings, linking rings, close-up set. And you also have the expansion set that goes with that. So you can take that four ring routine and you can turn it into an eight ring routine if you want. Um, so it comes with the standard, same, um, you know, same rings <laughs> that a standard eight ring linking ring routine would come in. Again, for um, 4.5 inches. And the pricing on this is the highest out of all of the rings on here. Uh, for the standard four ring set, you're looking at about $100. Um, for the eight ring set, you're looking for total, you're looking at about 180, 185. Uh, the expansion set on its own, I wanna say is like 85 or $90. Uh, so that's that. Then you have Ninja Plus, uh, the actual Ninja Plus routine, which essentially you take uh, a ring and you link it with your wedding band and then you hand that out to the audience and they can examine that. Uh, so the, the wedding ring gets linked onto the ninja ring. It gets examined to the audience and you can take it off and do a bunch of really cool stuff with it. Matthew has like five hours at least of material teaching this, uh, four different DVDs. And I myself put out a DVD teaching some of Matthew's material on, on Ninja Plus as well. So there's a lot of content with Ninja Plus. Um, and it's not just linking a finger ring onto the, um, the ninja ring. That's the gimmick that you get. But in the instructionals, you actually get a ton of ideas, linking a variety of different objects and doing a bunch of really cool stuff with, with the, the linking rings. So even if the idea of linking a wedding ring and then handing it out isn't super appealing to you, I really recommend checking this project out anyway because all the ideas and everything that go into this are really going to expand your imagination and your presentation when it comes to performing close-up ring magic. So that's Ninja Plus. Now you also have Ninja Plus Fusion. Okay, Fusion is uh, the project where you take a solid steel ball bearing and you very slowly melt it onto a ninja ring and then that object can get passed out and handed out to the audience. So uh, Ninja Plus, you link a ring. Fusion, you literally melt a steel ball onto the ring and then that can be passed out. Both of those routines go really well together. 
Uh, both can be performed separately if you want, but I think they really are the strongest when both performed together uh, because you can do a bunch of quick ninja, ninja ring style stuff maybe doing some Masada ring stuff. And then you kind of say, hey, let, let's try something a little bit different. Let me borrow, uh, you know, let me borrow a ring. You link their ring on, you link it, you take it off, you hand it back to them. Uh, let me borrow whatever object, that pair of scissors over there. And you link it through the scissors and you take it and you hand it back. And let me, you know, show you this bottle opener and you link it through the bottle opener and you do a bunch of cool stuff with the bottle opener. And then you say, you know, a lot of people think that, you know, there's some kind of hole or opening in the ring or something. So let me link it onto my wedding band. And then you hand that out and now they can examine it. And everything is 100% examinable and your wedding ring does not come off the ring. Now I wanna make sure that I make it clear. You can't actually link your wedding ring. You do get um, a gimmick ring that comes with the set that allows you to make it look like you're linking your wedding ring on there. So I wanted to make sure I was clear on that. The gimmick doesn't allow you to link your actual wedding ring and hand it out for examination. Um, there are no openings or anything. The ring is truly solid. Then you can say, you know, but I'm always linking through things with holes in it. So what if I link through a solid object and you take out this solid steel ball bearing and you melt the ball bearing through a ring and then you hand that out and everything can be examined again. And then you can start combining things together and you can link all these rings and you can make like a little Mickey Mouse head and a bunch of really cool stuff. So that's the Ninja Plus Fusion and Linking Ring set. The last product from Matthew Garrett that I wanna talk about that is ring specific is uh, GIR. This is Garrett's Impossible Rings. And this is an extension on the classic linking ring plot. Uh, what this allows you to do is make a chain of rings and then um, take a solid ring and a solid chain of rings and link them together. And you can, if you're good with audience management, you can pass those out. The audience can examine them. You can take them back, immediately unlink the rings and then hand them out again. And the audience is able to examine and it's a keyless method. So there is no gap, there is no break. You can take two or three rings that are permanently joined and a solid single solid ring, no gaps, link it on, pass it out, take it back, take it apart again, pass it back out and they can examine it. Um, and that uh, GIR set works with Matthew Garrett's close-up rings. So you can use the four or eight ring sets with GIR. The only thing is, is that the GIR impossible ring gimmick only works with the chains. So the chain of two or the chain of three. Um, you can't link a GIR ring with like a single ring because there's no holes. They don't link together. So um, it's, it's a really good effect, but it works again in specific situations. So where do I think Ninja Plus shines? I think Ninja Plus shines when performing um, in the spectator's hands, close up walk around strolling situations. You're borrowing objects, you're linking the rings in your hand, you're passing things out, you're taking out rings, you're linking them, you're handing them out for examination, taking them back, unlinking them, handing them back out for examination again. That is where Ninja Plus really shines. Ninja Plus suffers the farther away you get <laughs> from the audience. Uh, although Matthew Garrett does talk about performing Ninja Plus on stage, he has, uh, I think it's on volume three, volume three or four, I forget. He talks about um, creating a Ninja Plus gimmick that plays on stage out of like larger rings and things like that. So worth looking into. And um, it's it's different. It's a, it's a good routine. And like I said, I know I'm biased because this is the routine that I perform, but this routine has won multiple awards at both the Magic Circle and at the Magic Castle. I won uh, the Strolling Olympics performing this routine, uh, I think 2018, right? Yeah, 2018. Um, and Matthew Garrett won the Close-Up Magician of the Year in 2010 at the Magic Circle. Matthew Lamate also won uh, Magician Magic Circle Magician of the Year in Close-Up, I think in 2011, maybe 2012, I forget. Um, performing Ninja Plus. So this is a really good piece of magic. And uh, all of the ring routines on this, on this video are awesome pieces of magic for their own reasons. 
Ninja rings, like I said, you're gonna wanna start there. If you wanna get more flashy and expand the moves and do some kind of really cool throwing the rings around and, and spin and you know, <laughs> karate kind of stuff uh, with the rings, you wanna check out Masato's, Masato rings. Um, if you wanna do very slow, very clean moves and then open everything up and being able to display the rings nice and pretty for a larger audience, you want to check out Ernesto Malero's Malero rings. And then, of course, if you want to do something different, something that your audience probably hasn't seen before, using different objects and linking and unlinking them onto your rings, you're going to want to check out the Ninja Plus rings by Matthew Garrett. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns that I did not address in this video, please leave a question in the comments below and I will answer it. A lot of you guys have been reaching out to me asking about these different ring sets and which ones would be best, you know, for you and, and what all these ring sets mean and all that stuff. So uh, please, if I didn't answer your question in this video, please ask in the comments and I will be more than happy to answer it for you. All right, everyone. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. If you have not already done so, please make sure to click the subscribe button and don't forget to ring that notification bell so that you guys will be alerted anytime I upload new videos. We're also going to be doing some really cool giveaways and some contests with prizes on this channel. If you would like a chance to enter and win a prize, please visit our community tab and check out our latest contest.